I once thought Pete Davidson was just like Obama, a biracial goofball who ruined a once beloved institution, but it turns out I was wrong. Pete's not biracial. <laughs> Good one. And now for the man of the hour. The Jonas Brothers have performed at the White House several times, but most notably when they sang the national anthem for the women in sports t-ball game. <laughs> or as it's more commonly known, wait, is that a real thing? Okay, all right, all right. Now, now you've gone too far, okay? These guys rock, okay? A Little Bit Longer is both my favorite album, yeah? And it's what Sophie wishes Joe's penis was. Hey, uh, easy. <laughs> Winter is coming, but Sophie, not so much. Pete, <laughs> what? you can't talk like that. Come on. Come on get out of You can't talk like that. Get, get Pete, I'm sorry, Pete Davidson, everybody, but you got to get out of here. My God. Sophie, that's your personal business. It's hard to recognize him when he's not on SNL or on an adventure with the man in the yellow hat. <laughs> Jewel's here. Jewel, uh, I won't make fun of you yet because uh, I want to give everyone at home time to Google who you are. Um, I'm glad you do it. And the reason I'm glad you do it is because a lot of people recognize you as, they'll say, oh, that's Ariana Grande's fiance. Right. First, and then Pete Davidson. Number one, first one. Yeah. First and only. <laughs> Still got that. Still got that for my family. I did that for America. You understand? <laughs> it's for every, every kid out there and every uncle. And Coulter, if you're here, who's scaring the crows away from our crops? <laughs> you know, Anne describes herself as a polemicist, but most people call her a c <laughs> Now look, I, I'm totally comfortable being with a successful woman. I think it's dope. I live at her place, you know? <laughs> she pays like 60 grand for rent, and all I have to do is like stock the fridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna name some names, man, because you know, Lil Duval had a great joke about you. He said you like the white person's future because of all, <laughs> <laughs> all the women you run through, right? Okay. So I'm gonna name some names of some women you've been in relationships with. You just tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. You can say yes. as much as you want, as little as okay. you want. KG. Uh, beautiful, smarter than uh, me. Yeah, if, if anyone was worried that I was too smart or like advanced for her, they do not have to worry at all. She was way, way smarter than I was. Okay, uh, Margaret Qualley. Oh, beautiful soul. Great girl. Uh, she's, uh, she'll win an Oscar. She's gonna win an Oscar for sure. She's so talented. Did you Why? see her in Once Upon a Time? No. In Hollywood? She's fucking I wanted to see that though. She's I love, love Quentin Tarantino. She's cold with the acting, man. She's fucking dope. Is it hard dating act actresses though? Because you never know when they're pretending with you. Well, now it is. I didn't think of that. <laughs> Fuck. No, you know what, man? It's it's all fun, man. Learning learning people's all fun. But yeah, when some that is something that now will be in the back of my head for sure. I wasn't gonna do jokes about this, but then my buddy told me, he's like, yo, I've recently heard that uh, Ariana said she had no idea who you were and she just dated you as a distraction. So now I just think it's like fair game. Uh, so, yeah. Also, don't applause. This isn't like a Drake versus Lil Wayne concert. Like, this isn't like a competition. You know, she has, you know, her songs and stuff, and this is what I have, okay? So, all right, that's, that's it, right? Um, so, and you're like, Pete, this isn't fair. You're like, you're airing out dirty laundry. How could you do that? Where did she say this stuff? To her friends in the confidence of her own home? No, she said it on the cover of Vogue magazine. Can you imagine if I did that? Can you imagine if I did that? My career would be over tomorrow. If I spray painted myself brown and hopped on the cover of Vogue magazine and just started shitting on my ex. Can you imagine the, no, don't clap. Those are Drake versus Lil Wayne claps. I don't like that. I like the giggles. It's just jokes. But can you imagine if I did that shit? If I was just like, yeah, I just fucking it because I was bored. And then Fortnite came out. It would be insane. And you're like, well, Pete, something had to happen to her, right? You know, there had to be some repercussions, right? No, she won Billboard's Woman of the Year. And I got called Butthole Eyes by BarstoolSports.com. <laughs> 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 
So sometimes life is a little unfair. Beckinsale. Oh man, fucking legendary. Uh, all, all of my uncles freaked out. <laughs> uh, also fucking hysterical. Really, really funny. Yeah. Like one of the funniest people I've ever met. Yeah, she's really cool. I feel like you need an older woman though. I, I liked it. I had fun. Because I feel like an older woman would be more supporting and more caring yeah. than a younger woman would, especially with all of the, the, the needs that you had. Yeah, no, you know? she was very understanding and cool. Why didn't that work out? Uh, it wasn't just the right time. I, I think I was going into another rehab. I think that's just, I, I must have like a, a pattern. I wasn't like right yet. And she had a lot of, you know, acting and work to do. She's like a, a superstar. So, mm -hmm. you know, it just didn't work. Cassie David. Oh, she's fucking hilarious. She's another one of the funniest people I've met. And like, she'll have a fucking show in like a couple of years for sure. Carly Aquilino. Ah, oh, we love Carla. I love Carla. She's the best. Yeah. She's in, uh, she's in, we're cool friends. We actually hang out all the time. She's uh, in the new Staten Island movie. She's honestly one of the coolest chicks I think I ever met. Absolutely. Like, I love Carly. I have a lot of love for Carly always. I love the fact that she is in King of Staten Island. Yeah. Right? Cause she's great. Because like, that shows, like, you, you don't have no bitterness towards any of your exes. You're not hating on them in no way, shape, no. or form. It's like, yo, let's work. No, I want everybody to flourish and be great. I personally, like, life is too short to have just, like, any bullshit with anybody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Especially, like, every, especially just this year alone, all the shit that happens. I just want to be cool with people. What effect does Crohn's disease have on your life? <sighs> so I have no immune system, really. Uh, it's like a stomach disease, so, like, my skin takes longer. To, I'm, like, the opposite of Wolverine. Mm -hmm. My skin takes longer to heal. Uh, I get cut up and like I could bleed easily. My posture's bad because my stomach hurts. Uh, so I gotta smoke a lot of weed to get my posture up. Uh, it's hard to eat. I got it when I was 16. The first two, three years I was pretty bedridden, but now I'm on this thing called Remicade, which is like an IV that you get for like two, three hours. And then uh, you get it every like six months, uh, I mean uh, six weeks, and then you're just kind of like superhuman until leading up to the next one. Does that scare Hollywood in any way? Like the fact that you, uh, know, yeah. you have so much. I'm a liability going on. for I mean. sure. The insurance on the movies are fucking nuts. I imagine. <laughs> yeah, I, I I personally think I I think I'm a huge like red flag until you meet me. Really? Yeah. Just the perception of me. Like everybody I met on the Suicide Squad was like, I thought you were gonna be a giant piece of shit. I was like, thanks. Yo, let's talk about a real issue at hand Trash piling up, it's time to take a stand From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups Our planet's drowning, it's time to wake up Garbage trucks roll, streets lined with waste But where does it go? It's not a race To the landfill, a mountain of despair But we can change course, show that we care Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up, let's not lag Sorting all waste, it's not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand But it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our acts, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand And they're like, you're actually like this nice, cool guy You know, so I think I have this thing going around Where like, I just look like a fucking 
you know, piece of shit. But you know, I, I don't, I don't think I am. Uh, Do you realize if you came up in the '80s and '90s, they would tell you not to talk about none of this shit? Yeah. They would prop you up, have you pretending to be some something that you're not. Basically. Right. You know what I mean? Like it would just yeah. be all fake. Well, I don't want you to be on set and see me smoking weed and taking a shit and being like, what is this business? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. this is just what I do. And, uh, you know, I hope you could understand that and we could work together. 